Try to keep your attention steadily with the breath, all the way in, all the way out. The more peaceful you can make your mind, the happier it's going to be. So try to make the breath smooth. As the Buddha said, there's a type of feeling that comes when you pay careful attention to the breath. It's not like the feelings that you ordinarily get. It's more continuous, a sense of ease, a sense of well-being that you can create. This is what the Buddhist teachings are all about, is our power to create things in the present moment. And the problem is that we tend to create a lot of things that are not all that skillful. Because you don't understand cause and effect, so you have to learn how to watch the mind. What kind of thoughts give rise to good results? What kind of thoughts give rise to bad results? It was in the Buddha. He divided his thoughts into two types like this, that he began to get on the right path. So look at your thoughts that way. Don't think about the thoughts you like or the thoughts you don't like. Just ask yourself, where are they coming from? Are they coming from a peaceful mind or are they coming from an agitated mind? If they're imbued with sensuality, ill will, harmfulness, okay, that's an agitated mind. Renunciation, goodwill, compassion, that's a peaceful mind. So the choice is yours. You have to remember, that, as the Buddha said, Bhamoba Mangamantama. Phenomena have the mind as their forerunner. So we're not just following around what sensations we've already got. We can create things here in the present moment. Learn how to do it well. So we have this power. Try to make the most of it. Because as human beings, we're in the best position to learn about this power and to use it well. We don't know how much more time we have to do this, but we do have it right now. So take advantage of right now. That's when the Buddha says you're heedful. And with heedfulness, all skillful qualities grow.